Okay guys, I didn't know it, but I was doing the hardest part of signature teams. So there's an area called signature teams and there's like battle and play with and I was doing um, the play with and I was actually doing the hardest levels first. So it's kind of good because I got the hardest part done with. In fact, this is the last eight minutes of the hardest part and my reward will be Ron Guidry. I'm pretty excited about that. Gives me another 98 overall left-hander with a, with a good fastball. So, ooh, and look at that. This is me against Bob Gibson. Believe me, Bob Gibson puts fear into the batter. He puts fear into me. You can't help it. You relax. You try to relax. And I don't know why I decided to take out Frank Thomas here. But, uh, but anyway, for some reason, I've got a man on first. I decided to put it in Kenny Lofton and see what happens. And let's look at what happens right here. Okay, for some reason, I showed that pitch. And I do it like a little hit and run situation right there, which literally instead of turns into a double play, only gets the guy at first. I got a left-hander, George Brett up. I got a guy on second and third. The score is zero to zero. Trying to get my Ron Guidry. George Brett, can he do it for me? And let's look at George Brett. And George Brett comes through big time. I'm going to try desperately to score two right here. Horrible throw. Advanced George Brett to second base, and this inning is looking really good. Okay, here's Al Kaline. Rest in peace, Al Kaline. Okay, two outs, bottom of the first inning. And Kaline comes through big time. I am going to score this run no matter what. I literally didn't hold up K-Line because I wanted that third run to score. And I didn't want to make any running errors because I'm still working on my running. That is my weak spot. In fact, it comes into play twice in this game. You will see in just a little bit. Three or four or five things still happen in this. Number one is I let go of all the fear. And I just, and let me tell you, what, there we go, there we go. And I've been wondering where is the home run line on this side of the wall? So I did a couple replays to look at it closely in here. So we're going to figure it out. And you see where it says San Diego Studio, MLB Now. So right now it hits above that padding in the chair. So there's the padding right where it says MLB. And there's the chairs. And that's your line right there. Okay, for some reason I'm just showing you an extra little hit. Because I'm proud. Of, every hit I get off Bob Gibson I'm proud of. Bob Gibson is a beast. An absolute beast. Okay, and for some reason, look at this right here. And he's safe. That is absolutely crazy. So instead of two outs, I have one out. Let him steal second base. Concentrate on the runner. And I walk another runner. So now instead of two outs with one runner on, I've got one out with two runners on. Get the quick strike out there. Here comes Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench is a beast. There's the power of the next three batters. I'm looking at the guy who's... Uh, who's on deck and in the hole right now. And Johnny Bench comes through a big time. Bases are loaded. So when I look at those three batters at the box, I want to see, uh, I'm sorry. I want to see who's in the batter box, who's on deck and who's in the hole. That's basically what I'm trying to accomplish with that. And now look at this here. <laughs> I thought he would just turn and get on second base, but for some reason, that is crazy. I am literally tanking this. Okay, base is loaded, two outs, and I get lucky. I get very lucky. If he hit a home run, I would be losing. It'd be five to four, and I'd have to start this whole game all over from scratch down one. That is crazy. I almost tanked this inning. Absolutely crazy. You're going to see, uh, so those are a couple of fielding errors. One was not my fault, and one was just, I should have just tossed it to the guy at second base. And for some reason, I thought the character would turn, and he didn't turn. So let's look at, uh, okay, here's a second replay of what's going on with that padding right there. So we're going to look at the replay in slow, uh, not in slow motion, but we're going to look at a replay, and I'm going to make sure that we understand that you have to go around that padding, and if it hits the padding, that is not a home run. And here's where I made my running error because I sat the guy on first base thinking that's a home run. 
and not running him around. And that guy would have scored that's on third base. He would have scored on that grounder easily with 98 speed. But I lose a run because I did not pay attention to my runner. I'm watching the home run because I'm very curious where that home run thing is. So instead of five to one, um, it is, it's four to one. Okay, nice little hit off Gibson. Every time you get a hit off Gibson, it feels so good. It feels so good. Okay, that's Goose Gossage. And I believe that might be Johnny Bench. And I fielding error right there. I do not take the right line. And he gets a double. That should have been a single. That is a big error right there. Okay, and now the guy that should have been on first is now on third. Ah, oh, at least he should have been on second. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I get lucky there. I get really, really lucky there. That's crazy. Okay, Rod Carew. This is a card I would definitely like to have someday. Okay, nice hit. His left fielder going after it reaches out and just cannot get to it for some reason. There is my second running error. If you saw Rod Carew was sitting on first base, I would have had a triple and then a, a little chopper will drive him in. And literally because he wasn't on third base, look at that. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. This would have been 6-1. Look at Honus Wagner there doing the little wave. He's like, no, no, no. The little Correa wave. And actually, you didn't see it because it didn't replay it. Okay, here's the last play of the game right there. Laser to first, and this game is over. You didn't see Honus Wagner, but Honus Wagner actually taps his temple after saying, think, 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 like wrong move. It was kind of it was kind of funny. I actually don't recall seeing that graphic before. Okay, here's the replay. Here's the highlights of the game. There's the K, the beautiful K line grounder. Gets one RBI. I advanced him just to make sure I scored that run. I really wanted that run no matter what. There's the Omar Vizquel. I'm I'm surprised he had that kind of power. But Omar Vizquel gets a homer to right right above the padding. And that padding drops down towards right center field and goes low. But it's really high for a while. So you just have to work your way around that padding if you ever play with the Metrodome. Okay, and there's that little error that I was talking about earlier. And that looks like that's my video. And you guys take care.